How you doing guys? Uh, Randy Richard here in the shop. So I finished up there on the Lance lathe and I was going to the call it uh, attachment out and everything so I was going to put the three jaw chuck back on and you know it's getting a little a little goofy there in a few spots uh, you know as far as tightness goes uh, like you know scrolls dirty or something. I've never taken this part and cleaned it so uh, I thought I'd do a quick video. We'll we'll take it apart and uh, get it cleaned up here. Uh, this is a button. Let me turn the camera around so you can uh, see what uh, is going on. There we go. There's my new my cup of, cup out here. Have a little coffee. It's a little cool today, but not doing much. Some more big ass solutions, huh? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, old uh, P uh, Pierre Beaudry up in Canada, he's having his problems with his chuck, uh, with his uh, little mod work. But uh, anyway, uh, I thought I'd just clean this one since I, I've never cleaned it before. It's a, it's a bison chuck. And uh, on the back here, it says, Made in Poland. It's an 8250-10-L00. So the L00 is the mount. Uh, the 10, it's a 10 inch chuck, and then like 8250, this must be the model number. So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just we'll take it apart or take off this uh, thing, weighs, I don't know, it's heavier than snot. I don't know, 80 pounds, I bet, maybe more. It's, it's heavy. Let's see if I can, uh, wow. Okay, we're gonna need uh, something bigger. Try a little breaker bar action. Snug, not too bad. Looks like this has uh, three small uh, jack screws here to get that back off. That's what you call these kind of screws, uh, jack screws. <laughs> I was watching Pierre's video, he forgot what they're called. <laughs> Just a little rib. Oh boy. Well, I'll say it needs a little cleaning. Yeah, maybe it's never been cleaned. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. Let's see again. That. <laughs> Put a couple marks on there just to index it. <laughs> Boy, that's pretty bad. Yeah, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to scrape that out. Um, okay, well, uh, I'm gonna clean that out before I take any more apart. Yeah. Anyway, this is pretty bad. Uh, down in here, it's quarter inch, almost quarter inch thick, right here. 
Yeah, about a quarter inch thick. That's yeah, pretty bad build up there. And the gap, it filled that. There's a, there, I guess, yeah, there's probably not quite an eighth of an inch gap between the mounting back, back plate and the chuck itself. Uh, so all this other stuff filled up in there. Okay, so we got a bunch back here. So this is a uh, this has uh, somebody's. This is the uh, you know your key uh, uh, pinion there. It has a zero stamped in it right there, and somebody's also done some center punch marks for the back half to the front half. So that's a that's a good deal and. We're gonna we're gonna mark these kind of like actually like Pierre did there, but uh, one two and a three type of thing. And we got three bolts in the front. See, well, go for those first. Then I'll screw those jaws out. Yeah, the jaws are numbered. There's a one. One, two, and a three, right on the face of the chuck. I've uh, measured uh, this chuck a little bit to see if there is any taper in the jaws and you know the master jaws which are the inside part where this the outer jaw bolts to are just great these ones have oh, about two thousandths of taper on them it's not very much so after I clean it I'm going to measure everything again and I don't know if I'll grind them or not I thought about it but uh, we'll see that should come out there's number three now this is I don't see a mark on there but you want to make sure you mark these maybe in several locations Doesn't hurt to mark them up. Uh, you can easily wipe one of these marks off, so by accident. We'll clean those up separately. You can see the scroll screw right here going around. Not seeing any dings or anything in it. That's that's a good sign. So actually, this chuck is pretty doggone good. Probably I don't know if I'll uh, do too much to it about the grinding the jaws. That is.
I got a couple of these are a half inch 13 uh, set screws and I'm just gonna screw them down in there use them as little jack screws came right off. Yeah, a little dirty. Could definitely uh, use some cleanup here. We have uh, all these uh, little lock. These are like little, you know, half washers. Look in each half. Each half has them. It looks like. Well, no, just the uh, one half has them. Okay. So, you know, there's a retain, retaining washer, half a washer, to uh, keep that in there spinning free. So we'll have to clean those up good. We're just going to, these are very, you know, very similar to how, uh, identical to how uh, Pierre's is built, actually. Believe it or not, it, oh, identical. Keep all these together. We'll clean them up. Yeah, we'll have to. Uh, let's see. I might be able to push. Oh well. Actually, that's going to come out fairly easy. That I'm just pushing on the scroll side of it. Close tolerance, though. It, uh, it, it is. It is uh, fits very well, I should say. Uh, And when you jam it just by pushing it with your fingers, it's half a thousandth maybe, you know, type of thing. And there's a layer of grease around here that's and stuff build up a little bit. See, now the screwdriver is a scraper. It doesn't say I can't do that. Okay, through the uh, magic of YouTube, everything's now clean and uh, kind of ready here, I think, uh, to put this back together again. It's in very good shape and after, uh, it's kind of a funny, after you get the things clean, you start to see the uh, marks. Here's a number one, a number two, and number three, even, uh, to help you uh, in every end of five things and you get the chucks all uh, the uh, jaws cleaned up and there's the numbers too right there they're always numbered usually the, the jaws especially so each one has their number one two and three so that's a good thing makes it easy to help put it back together so uh there's the scroll it's in very good shape i really i don't see any unusual signs of wear or anything like that uh, Nothing's broken, no teeth or anything, so good signs. So I really like this stuff here. This is uh, made by Loctite, this brand here, but other people make it also. This is a Molly Paste low friction lubricant. It's a molybdenum disulfide. It, it, it is a paste though. Uh, and uh, if you let it sit a while, the oils kind of separate a little bit, but 
You can stir it up. It doesn't take much. It takes very little. Um, uh, if you put it on too thick, it will be kind of gummy. Um, so uh, it, it works really well, though. And sometimes it's called metal assembly paste. It's really it's made for metal-to-metal uh, -metal contact. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to run this around a little bit in the scroll here to pre-lube it. It's kind of it will spread around. It, 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 it's, it's amazing how little this it really takes uh, to lube uh, something with this stuff. Just a thin layer, and it will smear around and get everywhere. Just gonna kind of put a little bit here and there. It might be a little like you know, act like it's sticky at first, but after it gets thinned out, sp spread around, and really thin, uh, as the two pieces work together, it gets better and better actually. Yeah, you can smear it like that. Uh, I think uh, our good friend uh, Arduino, Arduino versus Evil up in Canada is doing a thing on his tool reviews and shows you about molybdenum disulfide. Very interesting, really. But you can see how that smears. You know it's really the real stuff there. Pain in the ass to wash off your hands. Okay, we're just going to drop that right in there, right? Sure went in easier than it came out, huh? Let's get all the crap out of it. Goes in here. I'm sorry. Gotta go in here like that. There. That looks better, huh? Uh two and number three. Hey, when you're shooting videos, you get really stupid sometimes. Really stupid. So those there like that, like that, like that. That's so that uh, 
washer can go in there. Right. That washer goes in there like that. There we go. Okay. Oh, that one. Whoa. A little snug on that one, huh? huh. Here. One is right there. Oh, that's pretty interesting. See, that's that shows that's number one, and this is supposed to be number one over here, but their witness marks are on number two. Somebody else put in. I think they might have... Hmm. Well, it only goes together one day. There is a dowel pin right here. How about that? So actually, the number two is uh, in the zero position. Uh, things just find out, huh? Anyway. I mean, it's the only way to go together because of that dowel pin and stuff. A little stiff right now because that stuff's a little bit sticky, that, pit, that, that paste, but once it gets used and, and it thins and gets the layer really thin, yeah, it'll be fine. Very smooth though. Oh, okay. I'm also a firm believer in anti-seize <laughs> uh, on a lot of stuff. Uh, doesn't take much, but a little bit of this uh, nickel anti-seize works really good.
35 on them. I right, got 35 on them. I think that I'll be fine. It is a little smaller bolt, but they'll take 35. I'm though. So. Here's my uh, mark. So you can, I don't know if you can see there, but somebody did a little modification uh, turning. Uh, they had just the master jaws in and they're cutting up close or something and could not, just not cut into the chuck, but I guess so. So, there's number one facing me right there. Doesn't really matter which one you use here, but get your okay. There's the beginning of the scroll that uh, coming up. The you probably can't see that, but it's the here. We're gonna change that. All right, kind of zoomed it in. So here's the number one slot. You can see. Let me get it turned here. Here it comes, right there. See it? Right there. You can just see that. So you got to get the that back a little bit, the beginning of the scroll. Get your number one. And you need to catch it, right? So that as you bring that scroll by, it, it just catches number one. Then you, when your beginning is over here, this will be number two. So you, the beginning of the scroll is there, and number two. Now, if you mess it up and get the wrong one, and all of a sudden they're not right, you can take them and look at them. So this is this is number oh here this is number two. And this is number three, and you can see how the the beginning of them here. 
it's offset different. The, the, this tooth is closer to the nose of the jaw than this one is. So you set them out and they're all three are different and you can tell which ones go first. This one's even less. So if you, if you screw it up, you can figure out which ones what if they don't have a number. So you catch that one. Bring it, bring it around to the number three till you just see it. Back it up. Slip in this one. Hold it a little bit, and then it's the same with a six jaw. If you have a six jaw, four jaw, unless you have it now. If any, it's the same with any scroll chuck, I should say. Even if you had a four jaw scroll chuck, and we should be able to crank them in. They should be all the same. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, these, this, this chuck was pretty beat up on the nose here, these uh, jaws. Uh, so I took a cut on them one day and cleaned them up. I was tired of looking at that, how bad it was. So, yeah, people had really, you know, cut into them. Uh, so I took them down until they were just cleaned up. So that's about as small as you get. You, Probably barely hold a quarter inch in there. Uh, I haven't tried a quarter inch in there, but see what, uh, you can hold that. That's a that's a seven thirty second Allen wrench. So so there we go. Back together. We'll put it on a lathe and give her a try. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot. This, this, this whole project here, even with filming, took me about an hour and a half. Just so you know. Uh, not too bad. Not too, not too much time. About an hour and a half. Uh, with, with cleaning and everything. So, if you weren't filming it, you might be able to get her done in about an hour or so. Uh, but you can see how bad this one was. Hell, who it might not have ever been cleaned uh, before. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, done now. It's, it'll be good for a long time from, with me. A long time. Alrighty, guys. Till next time, huh?